To be honest, I'm not surprised because so much of uh, the detail of, of Cousins Offending came out uh, during uh, the trial and, and, and subsequent inquiry. What has surprised me is how endemic the cultural and systemic issues uh, are within uh, policing. Uh, as you rightly said, I was a police officer up until 2011. I'm not going to pretend that my service, I didn't experience uh, and see misogyny, but I really thought we had moved on in the last decade. Oh. But the failure of a number of forces um, in uh, relation to cousins is, is really shocking. Are you calling on the government to accept all the recommendations for this first phase? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, as we called for the government to accept all the recommendations of the Casey report last year, which they they didn't because they didn't accept that uh, the the Metropolitan Police was 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 institutionally mm -hmm. uh, racist and misogynistic. So I hope you know that the the Home Secretary uh, said a number of things in the chamber today. I hope the funding is there so that the IT changes that are needed will take place. But. Uh, the fact remains that there are still the there, there is still the potential for people to be offending and serving mm -hmm. within the police force today. Has he set himself a, a time frame as to when he's going to accept these recommendations, when they're going to review them, when they're going to bring them in? I mean, there are some recommendations that you think will be a no-brainer. If a person has been found to be indecently exposing themselves in public, they perhaps should not then go on to get into the police force and then get promoted within the force too. Uh, absolutely. And the fact that um, those who are facing allegations of domestic abuse or sexual offences are not routinely suspended, I think the general public would be uh, astonished by that. So I think there's some actions that the Home Secretary can take very, very quickly. And it's quite clear that the Everard family and all those affected um, I want to see the government do that.